back to the Open World Forum. We are talking now about, about business intelligence. We will talk about business intelligence with uh, Jose Morales, which is this Vice President of Business Development for Jaspersoft. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, Jaspersoft, I think that it's, you say that it's the uh, number one business intelligence software in the world. Uh, yes. That's true? It is true. If you what are your figures for this saying well, that? Well, if you count by total deployments, our product's been downloaded 11 million times. Yeah. We have 150,000 registered developers in our community network. We estimate there's about 150,000 production deployments out there. And you put that comparison versus other business intelligence, and it's, it's by far the, the, ba the biggest. Even if you talk about uh, Microsoft Excel as of a business Of course, not Excel. Tool. <laughs> not, as ex not Excel. Excel is probably okay. the difference. So, right? so you're number one in the business intelligence that's right. uh, focusing to... That's right. Uh, that's right. Okay. okay. Uh, perhaps you can uh, talk a little bit about JasperSoft and what... What is inside the software, or what are the main functionalities? Of sure. It? Well, JasperSoft's a full suite BI provider. has reporting, query analysis, dashboards, and ETL. So we provide a full suite that allows people to do everything, both embedded and standalone, B, traditional standalone BI. Our, our history comes from the embedded side. We were actually founded as part of a consultant's work on a French bank project where they wanted to embed an application inside of a, Java, a custom Java application and embedding Crystal Reports was too difficult. So we built J a Jasper Reports when Jasper is a, a gem or a stone much like Crystal is. Yeah. And that was the beginning. Mm -hmm. So we have, and since then we've grown, now we have the full suite, but all the products were still built to be embedded. When you say a full suite, you mean you don't have a storage tool, for example, you no. use database. That's right, that's right. We can connect to just about any type of database, yeah. data warehouse, you know, whatever. We can also have custom connectors to custom file types. Okay. So, uh, but, you know, we, we, we're really talking about reporting, analysis, and we have two flavors of analysis. We have an in-memory analysis tool, and we have traditional OLAP. We have dashboards. So you can do your KPIs and things like that. And we have ETL. So that's what we consider the full suite for the traditional query reporting analysis market. You like to talk about a number of downloads in uh, yes. the open source market. I'm more interested about the number of customers, uh, sure. meaning people who pay something to you. Uh, do you have some figures about worldwide basis and France, perhaps? Sure. I don't, um, so about, uh, worldwide, we have about 13,200 customers that have paid us for a, a variety of things, our subscriptions, our documentation subscriptions, our support offerings. Uh, and in France, I don't know the exact number, but it's, it's a high number when you include that full area. We also have our full subscription vendors. There are some good examples in France that we have. We have uh, ScoreMD, LaSASEM, uh, and, and a number of others, and we continue to grow. Obviously, you know, since the project started originally in France with a, with a Romanian developer, we've had a long history here, and we're used by many, many institutions. Uh, but the paying customers worldwide, about 13,200, and it's everywhere. Uh, we combined our paying customer list with Google Maps once uh, and Google Earth. And we are just on little islands. We're in the Antarctic. Mm -hmm. we're, it's just about everywhere. It's really the power of open source. And those are all paying customers, people that have paid up for something. What is really amazing is that a lot of people use uh, JasperSoft software without knowing it. Uh, That's true. It's included in the uh, thousands of software. Th that is exactly right. Because the original product, Jasper Reports, was made to be embedded, it was more not, uh, known by the developer. So the person who was actually running reports thinks they're using a different application. There are many examples of many, many companies that have embedded Jasper Reports, and that continues to be the case today. In fact, it's really one of our benefits, though, because when you are running an application, you want to feel like you have a seamless experience and that you're not leaving one application to enter another. Ah, so it means that today one of your challenges is to create the brand uh, and to make sure that people uh, ask for a JasperSoft solution. Yeah, that, that is very true. I think the, the challenge with the brand is really outside of the developer world. So in develop particularly the Java developer world, I think we're very well known. The challenge there has been associating JasperSoft with Jasper Reports, yeah. which we had that for a number of years, but that's less the issue nowadays. Clearly on, the, on this traditional data warehousing side, we are establishing our brand. We are doing many, many different types of things, outreach. We're working with a lot of traditional uh, data warehousing players. Uh, and so we see that coming up. But for a company of our size and our age, I think our brand is very, very strong. Let's talk about the, the actual version. What are the main topics that you cover today with the version? What sure. is the number of the version? So we're at 3.7. Okay, so 3.71, uh, actually, we just released. Okay. <laughs> so it, you know, the, the biggest things we did there is further enhancements to our embeddability, further enhancements to our in-memory an analysis. 
and, and, and in dashboard. So if you really look at the direction we're going to be going, our next release is going to be very focused as well on the user experience and on the ease of implementation. So making the whole process of not only implementing a standalone but embedding into an application easier, quicker. It'll allow upgrades to be easier as well. Uh, and the general user experience, you know, people have become through the consumer web very used to a very highly rich interactive environment. So we're starting to see more and more of that in our products and we're going to continue to go that way. Our next releases will be very much about interactivity and really the, the, ex the, the user experience. So there's a developer experience and the end user experience. And, you know, we have a, w this next release will work on both of them, but the further releases, really the end user experience is going to really mature quite a bit. And for the future, there's a lot of things to do uh, mm. to integrate uh, social networks, predictive sure. analysis, on sure. all these things. Uh, sure. And I, I have the feeling that... Um, uh, the open source software are uh, not really in, uh, in advance on this uh, very new topic. Um. Well, let me uh, just to take back, you know, uh, predictive analytics is a really interesting space. Now, we're not in it directly. We have several partners in Europe. We have uh, RapidEye with RapidMine yeah. are very well known. And, you know, and then there's a worldwide project called R which is used by millions of people, mostly yep. academics, and there's the commercialization of that with revolution computing. So we have been integrating those projects in with ours so we can, so in our dashboard we can also show an R chart or, some, or charts from revolution mm -hmm. or from uh, RapidEye. So we see a lot of that. So, uh, you know, really, if you look at the R community, it's, it's, it's massive. So I think you're going to see a lot more of that, and we're going to be expanding our suite over time and doing more and more things. But for now, if you look at the BI market that you know well, the vast majority is query reporting and analysis, yeah. which is where yeah. we're focused. When is scheduled the next version? We're going to have we have a release in the very short in the next coming next coming month. Okay, so very great. soon. Yeah. We'll look at that. Huh? Yeah, it'd be very exciting. It's <laughs> going to be a great release. We're very excited about it. Okay, Jose Moraes, thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having and, me. Uh, I think it was very interesting to have a, a part of the TV show about business intelligence yeah. uh, because open source is not only middle lawyer. It's yeah. important to look at the Absolutely. applications. And we're pleased to be here. Thanks for inviting us. And you know, part of the Open World Forum, we're also up for the we've been nominated for the Open Demo Cup Award, and we're very okay. excited. And you know, would love to win tomorrow. We'll Nominating no, is not enough. You have to be a winner. Yeah, we want to win, but that's not till tomorrow, ah, so we'll come course. back for that <laughs> yeah. inter interview. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much. And of course, if you want to look a little bit more about Jaspersoft, you just have to go to the website, jaspersoft.com. That's right. You can download... Uh, or the go version. to jasperforge.org for our okay. community site. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for coming uh, for the show. And uh, we'll come back with another show on uh, the Open Source uh, Open World Forum. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>